I've always been competitive. From my parents teaching me, whatever you do, you do it, you give it your all. And I enjoyed track, uh, but I, I, my passion was for football. And I played football in, in uh, junior high, I played football in high school, but in the games, I you know, didn't like getting my knees banged up, so I said, I better stick with track. Nick, stay tall. Knees up in front. When I thought I could go to college doing this, the more I thought about it, the better I got. I don't think it was anything that, that I did special or anything. It was just a lot of people uh, guiding me along the way about how to do things. And so I was excited that you know, maybe I could go to college. The choice to go to uh, Arkansas was a really easy choice. I had a great uh, relationship with Coach McDonald. Not only was he a great coach and for me, he was a great father to me. And whatever he had me do, with whatever event it was, I'm going out there to give my all. Uh, Coach McDonald had me running the 400 in the beginning. I raced the 400. I was fortunate enough to make the Olympic trials as a freshman. And from that point, it was really no looking back. Uh, one of the things that Coach McDonald did, he said, well, you can be a great 800 meter runner or a good 400 meter runner. And so I switched to the 800. And because of that, and then because of his decision to push me to run the 800, I was one of the best in the world. It was a really easy transition between being an athlete and a coach. Uh, when Coach McDonald had me on as a staff member, the, the team respected me, I guess because of my accomplishments, and that's all I wanted to do is help the team get better. And they understood that, and so they, they responded to the same things that I responded to as an athlete with Coach McDonald, they responded to with me. 25, 26, let's go, Drew! You had a system that works, and you knew the things that you you did as an athlete to be successful. You modify those things a little bit for the athletes that you have coming in and you have success. 29, let's go ladies. Diamond, don't hit brakes so much. Take more time to decelerate. Leaving Arkansas was a hard thing, but a good thing. And I, as I was the assistant coach at Arkansas and had the opportunity to be a head coach at the University of Tulsa, and the opportunity came to go to Kansas. I was excited about it because I had the opportunity to be a, a coach at an elite conference again. And knowing the history of track and field at the University of Kansas, it was, it was just an easy fix and, and really good to be here. One of the things that track and field teaches you is, is that hard work pays off. My goal is, is not only for our athletes to be successful, athletically, but to also be successful academically. They're at our institution to graduate first and be athletes second. Coach Verwines has definitely been like a, a dad away from home and just, he just really, really encouraging, gives, gives me all the advice. Not necessarily everything's about track, but just like, just life in general. Like he's really, really been there like through everything. I have athletes that, that I've trained, uh, that were on the team uh, from everywhere that I've coached that are still calling and I have great communication with them and saying, it's really easy for them to excel in their business world and in their, in their job careers now because of the things that they apply from their track career. We have a great staff here. They have the same goal. We want to win, we want to get things right, and we want to be the best. And I think their experience is second to none. The same way we, we talk about having athletes, having fun, but knowing what our jobs are. And the same thing it is with the staff. Everyone wants to contribute, and it's so much fun when you have six coaches in six different event areas having people compete well at the national meet. As a whole, men's and women's team are all coming together and becoming a better team and with the facilities that we have right now, I feel like it'll just help us uphold the tradition. A lot of people would never know that the track team actually has more national championships than the basketball team and you see Diamond getting gold medals and you see Stiggs winning Big 12s and Andrea winning nationals and that just makes me want to step my game up. There's an expectation to win, not just a hope to win. And you don't just have it in one event area, you have it across the team. And so that's what makes it fun with the athletes, that's what makes it fun with the coaching staff.